Okay, so this is how you create a poster using PowerPoint, okay? So, or even Keynote, it works the same way, okay? But I'm just using PowerPoint because I think most of you have PowerPoint. Now, uh, open your PowerPoint app and then click on New uh, Presentation, okay? And this new presentation and this window will come out. Just choose white so that you can choose another background or if you want black to be your background, then there it is, okay? So I just choose white, okay? So choose it. Okay, so there's the new presentation. So I want a blank uh, sheet, so I go to this one, layout, and just choose blank, okay? So nothing is there, okay? So let's say I want a different color background. All you need to do is to go here, where the shapes are and choose a rectangular shape and make your square. Okay, so if you like blue, that's the default color, but if you want a different color, uh, you can choose the fill here, okay? Many choices. You can choose any of the colors here, okay? Or you can uh, go to more colors and it gives you a wide variety of choices, okay? So it's up to you, what color do you want, okay? So maybe I want midnight, and there it is, okay? So how did I make the uh, fancy words? Okay, so for the fancy words, you go back to home. Oops, sorry. Okay, uh, check this one out, text box, okay? And type in the word you want to put in, so ethanol. Okay, now, as you can see, it's black and it can't be seen on the blue. So I want to change the font color to white. And over here, you can change the size, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, how did I make it curvy, curvy? So you can click on this one and go over here. Okay. Okay, and then you can go to transform and you can see you have the different shapes here. Okay, you can choose anything here, just try. But don't spend too much time because if you spend too much time, then you won't have time to finish your work. Okay, so let's say transform and I chose this one. Okay, so as you can see, that's how I made the curvy ethanol. Okay, now you can pull this thing here and you see what happens. Okay, it makes the the, what do you call this, the arc bigger or smaller. So it's up to you how you want to do it, okay? So that's how I made that part. Now, uh, if you want to put, uh, let's say, uh, you know, uh, change the color, you can do that, highlighting everything. Uh, let's say you want to make it yellow. And if you want to put more text effects, go here. See, it says text effects. So click on text effects. Okay, so... Here, if you want a text outline like I did, you can click on this and choose uh, red, okay? And you can change how thick the line is over here. If I want it about three points, okay? And you see, now I have ethanol that's outlined, okay? Now, if you want to make it, you know, go left or right, you put your, your pointer on this green circle over here, and this one will make you, okay, will help you move the text left or right, okay? Now, there's one picture over here, a circle with sugar cane, okay? So let's, uh, okay, uh, choose, let, uh, let's see, choose a shape. Let's say I want to put a picture in a circle, okay? So you can measure your circle over here and move it a little, okay? And then uh, you can more choose more fill effects over here, okay? So you can change it to gradient or you can go to picture or picture or texture. So let's say you have a picture on the desktop, get a photo. So I can teach you how to, just in case you don't know, this is how to drag and drop a photo. So corn, let's say I want a picture of corn. So I put it on search over here, corn. 
And then once everything about corn comes out, click on images. Okay. So I think, uh, oh, this one looks like a good image. So what you do, wait for it to load up and then you can click and drag it to your desktop. Okay. Click and drag it and there you go. There's your corn over there. Okay. So let's say you want the corn to be in a circle. So let's see. From file, choose picture. Okay. And see, PowerPoint has different pictures already. Okay. You might find something that you would like here. Okay. It has animals, has pictures of people. But if you want a particular type of picture, you can do that uh, from the internet. So go to your desktop. Click on corn and insert. So the picture of the corn is there and click OK. So there you go. You have okay, a picture of the corn inside the circle. Okay. Now you're wondering how did I do pro uh, the check checkpoints, like the bullets with the check marks. Okay. Very easy. So every time you need to put in text, go over here. Okay. So text box, okay, and then you want to do bullets, right? So you go over here. These are the bullet points, okay? So you want to choose, and there's a lot of choices. See, you have dots, squares, diamonds, arrows, check marks, okay? So click on check marks. So let's say uh, easy to make, okay? to make. Now, as you can see, you cannot see it because it's very dark. So select everything. So, so click and drag everything and change the color to white. There you go. Okay. You might want to make it a bit bigger and maybe bolder. Okay. Or you might want to change the font over here. So it's all up to you. Okay. So then put easy to make. Uh, what else? Um, burns cleanly uh, by products are water and carbon dioxide. There you go. Now you're probably wondering again how I made, you know, the like the white box here. Very easy. So highlight everything, okay? Make sure that the box comes out and go over, okay? And it says format shape, okay? So you can right click and click on format shape, okay? And then you want to put a line. So it says no line, so make a white line and change the gradient. When I say right click, that means right click on your mouse. If you don't have a mouse, you need to press control on your keyboard and click on your touchpad. Okay. So control and click on your touchpad and the same thing will come out. Okay. The same thing will come out. You can format the shape. Okay. So that's how you do that. Now, if you want to change the background, remember at the ending, I had like warning. So if you want to change the color of the background, do the same thing. Click right click and format shape and you want to change the fill color it says no fill so you want to change it i don't know maybe you want um red okay so now you have a background of red okay so it's really not that hard to do this all you need is, of course the first time you do it it's not uh going to be as easy as it, as it is as it will be once you know the process okay so how do you save this as a jpeg there are several ways first you can take a screenshot so if you want to take a screenshot of only this part you need to press on shift command and four and see what happens let me do that again look at my oh look at my pointer okay shift command together and then press number four it changes into crosshairs. So all you need to do is to click and drag it and it will take 
a photo or a screenshot only of that. Okay, now see, it came out over here. So if I open this, okay, so if I open this, you can see that it's a screenshot of this one. So that's one easy way of doing it. However, if you do it that way, when you put it to your Weebly, it won't be very clear because this is very low resolution. So if you want higher resolution, this is what you do. Go to File and press Save as Pictures, okay? And then it says it will save it in Presentation 1. Now, make sure you change the place where it saves, not to Documents because you might find a hard time looking for it later on. Make it save to your Desktop. So click on that and then put here uh, energy project uh, JPEG, okay, or picture, okay. So click on that one and it should, there, see, energy project JPEG. Now see, it's bigger compared to this screenshot, which is only that small. Okay, so this one will turn out better, clearer in your Weebly. How do you put it in your Weebly? Look at the resource part, resources part of YCIS Science 7 and it will show you how to upload pictures if you still don't know how to do it by now. Okay, so remember this is due at the end of the period. Finished or unfinished, I want to see your projects at the end of the period. Bye.